so they can get a little bit wavy at the end. See? You got that. Thank you so much for bringing this. There's a whole lot of black girl magic in here right now. So we have two suitcases right here and right here. I'm still moving into my new place, so um, it's kind of messy from stuff I still haven't unpacked. So you can imagine that this last few weeks as Miss America has been insane because moving into an apartment in New York City is already insane. And then also being Miss America and also having to um, get ready for Miss America 2020. So yeah, it's been a lot, but there's a suitcase there, a suitcase there, two garment bags, a big Giovanni bag, and oh yeah there's a duffel bag on top of that suitcase and there's a bunch of stuff being mailed to me from sherry hills so yeah lots of stuff but i'm packed and ready yay all right so i got to my suite in connecticut today is my today marks the final week of nia franklin miss america 2019 and i can't believe it's here um and i'm in my suite right now at the mohegan sun and I absolutely love it. It's perfect for this week. Oh, someone's at the door. Let me see who it is. Oh, it's Caroline. I'm doing, Hi. I'm vlogging. <laughs> so yeah, I love my suite. I'm about to do an interview right now. Um, so let me show you the room a little bit. So this is the closet that I have when you first walk into the hotel and I have a lot of my clothes there. May or may not have a gown in here that I'm wearing this week. Um, I have my steamer up there and some other stuff I need for the week. Um, there's a bathroom right here for like my guests that come by or whatever. There's Caroline, one of my amazing tour managers. Hi guys. And someone brought this random spread of food that I'm going to probably devour because all I've had is a banana and yogurt today. And Caroline got me amazing champagne. I don't even know how to pronounce that champagne. Vouve Clicquot. Vouve Clicquot. Vouve Clicquot. The, bougie, the bougiest of bougie <laughs> champagnes. Oh, and something else I have to look at. Okay. The view is beautiful. Wow, it's like this big pond lake thing. And it's just really pretty. You can see pine trees out there too. And then the master bathroom. I have a tub there for soaking. And yeah, this is it. Cute, love it. It's perfect for what I need this week. Bathtub and a shower. And yeah, so we're all settled and ready to do an interview. I'm doing a little video in a second for some press stuff. So that'll be cool too. to go meet the prelim judges um, for the Miss America candidates. So I'm just getting ready. They told me they wanted me to be casual, but um, casual, but like put together this morning. So basically I don't have to wear like a business suit or anything to go meet the judges. They just didn't want me to look like I just woke up and got out of bed. So I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup, mascara, no false lashes doing the most just something slight so you know I'm gonna just do that and go meet the judges today I'm also what am I doing today I have fittings with the um seamstress seamstresses uh so I'm gonna do that after this and then I may or may not have to do rehearsals today uh and then I'm going to the village today in Connecticut. It's called Mystic Village. And it's really nice. Uh, it's, it feels like you're in a Hallmark movie when you're there. So that's gonna be a lot of fun too. Something out of my dreams. And I had to remember everything ain't what it seems. And from there you got me second guessing.
I'm about to sign some books. Um, so the Miss America competition magazine is right here. Oh my goodness. It's my face on the magazine. Like, that's so cool. But guess what? I have to sign all of these. <laughs> and then you see all those boxes right there? It's like five boxes. No, six boxes. Plus this one, and they're bringing another box up. So my hand is gonna be so Sometimes cramped. But gotta get it done, gotta sign the books. Just finished a great workout. Happy, feeling good, looking better. Looking good, feeling better. Both times. It is day four of being at Miss America, and I just got my lunch, y'all, and it looks so good. I just had to tell you. Zucchini and like arugula and tomatoes and avocado. All right, so I'm in my dressing room right now. It is so dark back here because of the nature of where we are. We're basically in this huge auditorium that is probably the size of like, I don't know, you could fit like 80 stages in here. Like you could fit a lot of stages in here. The main stage for preliminaries is over there. So I'm in like this, basically this little box they made for me with like curtains, you see? So yeah, this is my dressing room and it's very dark, but thankfully I have um, a few lights here. And also I'm going to be using my halo light back here that I got from Amazon. Uh, but yeah, in general right now, this is day four of Miss America and I'm feeling pretty frustrated because they keep changing things last minute. Um, and it's just like, it just seems a little, you know, chaotic, which I think is normal. I think that's something that just happens in show business. Um, I really wish I had a blanket right now because there's a couch over there. It's really dark, so you probably can't see, but I just want to take a nap. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think everything's going to be fine today. Uh, it's, it's kind of starting to set in that I'm about to be a former. I mean, I'm, I'm a part of like the thing on the, um, on the show tonight. They're having a former Miss America walk, like where all, all of the former Miss Americas that are in attendance will go on stage and be introduced. And I'm a part of that, even though I'm technically not even a former yet. So that was just kind of a little moment where I was like, I'm really about to be done here. So anyways, um, day four, feeling good. I'm performing tonight. I'll be performing my original song, Violets and Violins, uh, with the track that I produced. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. <laughs> to New York from Connecticut uh, because I have a press interview this morning and some other press in New York as well. So it's a beautiful early morning. Um, pretty cool to be doing like all the press my last right, yeah. Oh, duty calls. Hello, uh, so I'm here with Jessie. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe that I have three more days left of being with America and I'm here. <laughs> I know, it's so sad. But three more days left, but I'm at CNN, so that's a pretty cool way to end the year. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like, oh my God. Yeah. Mm. We're at CNN about to do a segment with us. So about excited. About history. Black girl magic. Black girl magic. Yes. Miss America, Tony Ann Singh, crowned Miss World on Saturday. Quite a historic moment, not just because she got that crown, but because. With that win, all of the top beauty pageant winners are now women of color. Miss Teen USA, Miss USA, Miss America, Miss World, and Miss Universe. And three of them are joining us here this morning in the studio. Miss America, Nia Franklin, Miss Universe, Sozie Tunzi, and Miss USA, Chesley Chris. Great to have all of you with us. Congratulations. Thank you. We have a, we have a powerhouse on the couch, which I love. Um, yeah. You're also all using your platforms for, for really important uh, movements and causes. And, and I think that that has become been highlighted so much more in recent history when we talk about women who are in pageant. It's not just about, yes, you're beautiful women, mm -hmm. but it's also about your accomplishments. It's about your brains. It's about your heart. And so I'd love for you to share with people a little bit more what each one of you are doing because you're really focused yeah. specifically on, on the arts. Absolutely. So I'm a composer. I have my master's degree in music composition, and I've had so many opportunities this year to work on what in, in the Miss America organization we call our social impact initiative. So I've done everything from host the New York Philharmonic. I've also been able to perform with the Dallas 
Dallas Symphony and even perform overseas. So it's been an incredible year for me. And uh, even though I only have a few more days left, I get to crown my successor on Thursday. Um, but I'm really grateful for this, this time. And I think it was just such an important time in history and part of God's plan for this to happen, like Drake said. Drake's on something. A lot of things that Drake's on to, but we're gonna leave him out of the rest of the segment. My time is actually coming to an end on Thursday. I'll be crowning my successor, Miss America 2020, but I'm just really grateful to have won over $70,000 in scholarship money, roughly $70,000, and I hope I inspire more young girls to compete in the Miss America organization because we, we have scholarships, and I think that's incredible, and, and to have role models like us is a really important thing as well. Excuse me. Yeah. Are you all sisters? Really quickly, before we go, why should people tune in? They should tune in because this is going to be an epic show, something they've never seen before. And of course, we have these people on, so They're fabulous. Look, like, why not watch? <laughs> why not watch, guys? Thank you so much. I'm looking Thank forward you. to seeing who you pick as the next Miss America. Jimmy, we'll send it back to you. Prelims is wrapping up as we speak. I'm about to go back on stage and present the preliminary awards. So tune in to see who they are tonight. Yeah, we talked about it a little bit last night, but yet again, this is a part of the day-to-day -day job of Miss America. Uh, what advice do you have for these three candidates in that role on a day-to-day -day basis? I think the biggest thing is to be prepared. You know, I've done a lot of speech writing this year, and eventually you do have something that you feel like you can take pretty much anywhere that relates to anyone. But other than that, speak from the heart, and I think that's what we've seen a lot on the last few preliminary nights, and I'm just so proud of you all. I told her something. Two, three. Good morning. We're headed to the scholarship interviews. So a lot of the women are finalists, and they're getting uh, the chance to interview for some really important scholarships. And we headed there to give them a pet talk. Tonight. One, two, three. Maybe if we try again. Maybe, maybe if we try uh -uh. again. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. Hi. Look who I have with me. We're counting down. <laughs> Less than 24, 24 hours. hours. 24 oh, hours. My heart's already broken. <laughs> well, we're headed, we're headed to the uh, former yeah, Miss America dinner right now. So I'm going to see all of my sisters. Yay. And I'm bringing my family with me. <laughs> Hey, so I'm about to hit to bed. Um, I'm feeling a little under the weather. 
um, like sneezing a little bit today and stuff like that. But I'm gonna try to get as much rest as possible so I can have a fantastic last day as Miss America, um, the reigning Miss America. So yeah, I'm just feeling like really grateful, full. I'm excited to like pass it down actually. I know people keep saying like, it's so heartbreaking to give up the title and they're like, oh, why are you so sad? But I'm like not really that sad. I'm more so just like excited for what's next for me and what's next for the girl I'm gonna get to crown tomorrow. Um, I have been able to mentor a couple of girls um, that are like really younger than me, like high school, middle school, but I really haven't had a girl that um, I've been able to mentor all that much. I mean, I did crown my beautiful Miss Capital City, Logan, back in 2016 or 2017. She was Miss Capital City 2017. I crowned her and she's beautiful and we're still close. She actually just sent me a little like um, care package for my new apartment. She gave me a blanket and hot cocoa and like sent it to my house and sent me her Christmas card. She just got married. Um, so I have her, but I'm really excited to be a part of just this iconic 99 year history i'm the 92nd miss america i think i was only like the seventh maybe the eighth miss capital city so that was certainly a legacy of eight you know eight years or so but 92 i'm about to crown the 93rd miss america that's insane um insane to me so i am ready i'm excited i cannot wait to see what she does with her year um, I just want to be there for her as much as possible. But yeah, I'm just ready. It's gonna be fun. And my gown's awesome. Wait till you see it. So I just got back from the former Miss America breakfast and it was so nice. It was, it was just beautiful. They were playing people's crowning videos since like 30 years ago and they just kept going back and forth on the, the the crowning videos it was so sweet and if you notice i have this beautiful lei these are fresh orchids from hawaii and the miss hawaii board members were there at the breakfast and they gave it to me so cute oh my gosh today is the day oh my goodness miss america 2020 will be crowned today and it's my last day Miss America, my last time to wear this crown in public. Um, so I'm just so excited. So, so excited. It's time for the red carpet ceremony. Or it's not really a ceremony, it's <laughs> just a red carpet and there'll be press there. So it's gonna be fun. America 2019. I had a great year traveling across America, raising scholarship money for women, advocating for the arts, and had a seat at the table at boardrooms across the country. So, to the next Miss America, whoever you are, knock them dead tonight. Nia Franklin, Miss America 2019, is here to present the crown in just a moment, but let's show her our appreciation for a great year. Outstanding. Yes. Oh, I'm getting so nervous, Mario. All right, well, the judges are now receiving the final result. Congratulations.
Wait, Miss America, America, Miss America, and then there's Miss America, Miss America, and then Miss America, Miss America, Miss America. <laughs> Are you shaky? So I look a mess right now, y'all. It's it's the day after, and this is how I look. This is the condition I'm in. I am sick, Ooh. and I I just woke up in. I just woke up in, in a different condition than yesterday. But my throat's been hurting all week, and now I think I'm oh, just officially, officially down for the count. <laughs> she was dying. <laughs> it was craziness. All I have is and I woke up with the sweats and the fever. I had to get in the tub you of were cool on water. You were on bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Jesus. But Jesus. He stepped mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. oh. I should just walk in there. And. And tie it all. I feel better now. I'm gonna try to make my plane. But in the words of Whitney, Diane, I am not sick. I'm not sick. Now I mentioned, now I, I tell you, I party. <laughs> I am not sick. I am not sick. Let's get that straight. Good morning again. So I am in the car on the way to the airport. Thanks to the support of this lovely woman. She's my godmom, y'all. I made it in the strength of the Lord because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make this flight because I was really sick this morning. I think I was just so worked this week. I mean, every single second of my days were pretty much taken um, by sponsor visits, dinners, um, rehearsals, traveling, because I had to go to New York at 3 a.m. one day this week. So I think my body and like being around a lot of people and like germs, I'm such a germaphobe and I try to like wash my hands as much as possible this week, hand sanitizer, everything. But sometimes, you know, they just get you. Yeah, I, that's right. And I got God. And you got God. <laughs> I got God. Like it's like your, your auntie Nate says, give them what you. What's I gave it to him and gave it to him good. <laughs> She, my, my aunt always says, give it to him and give it to him good. good. That's right, that's right. And I'll get to see everybody for Christmas soon. Yay, We're headed so home. Happy. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, headed to the airport. Had an amazing time at Miss America. This is my first day. Yes. Not Miss America. I know. Wow. wow. My first full day. Feel? This is going to be so weird feeling. It, does doesn't it, feel feel, weird? it doesn't really feel weird. It does feel kind of weird to see the crown on, on another person's head after all this time. Right, yeah. Um, but I feel good. I don't good. know. Good. I'm almost good. I'm almost like, am I like living in an alternate universe? Because I feel like so many people have this week have talked about me being sad and stuff, but I'm like, I don't really feel sad. Yeah, because you've had a great run, yeah. You really have. You did. You did your thing. Thank you. you gave it to him and gave it to him good. <laughs> I feel good. I feel excited for the next chapter. You know, last night it was so funny. One of my friends, Chris, he said, Miss America, check. You know, and that's a good yeah, way to explain it. Right. It's like, I've done, okay. so, I've accomplished so much. I have my master's degree. I have my undergraduate degree. I've, I've been a fellow for Lincoln Center. So it's just like, check, check, check. And this is just another check for me. And the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. That's right.